given the graph of y equals f of x, graph y equals the square root of f of x on the same grid. In part a, we are given the graph of y equals x minus 5 squared minus 4. We can find y equals the square root of f of x by taking the square root of all y values on the original graph. Negative y values on the original graph have no corresponding values on the graph of y equals the square root of f of x. Now select points on the original graph that have a y value that is a perfect square. Take the square root and draw the graph. Now we'll state the domain and range of the original graph. The domain is x belongs to the set of real numbers, and the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Now we'll state the domain and range of the square root graph. The domain is x is less than or equal to 3, or x is greater than or equal to 7, and the range is y is greater than or equal to 0. The domain and range of the two graphs are different because we can't take the square root of a negative number. In part b, we will find the square root graph of y equals x squared. Recall that the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. Draw the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. Now we'll state the domain and range of the original graph. The domain is x belongs to a set of real numbers, and the range is y is greater than or equal to 0. Now we'll state the domain and range of the square root graph. The domain is x belongs to a set of real numbers, and the range is y is greater than or equal to 0. The domain and range of the two graphs are the same.